This is ANN News Brief. The outgoing United Nations resident coordinator in Zimbabwe, Bishop Parajoli, has expressed concern about the government crackdown on opposition activists' demonstrations. He said this action is intolerable because Zimbabwe's constitution gives citizens the right to protest. Parajoli told reporters that the Zimbabwe government cannot blame the country's slow economy on Western sanctions imposed on the country because they are not directly responsible for Zimbabwe's plight. President Timas Nagagwa's government has ordered investigations into the abductions and injuries to many activists after taking part in recent anti-government demonstrations. The outgoing UN boss in Zimbabwe has called on President Nagagwa's government to continue engaging the West as part of effort to remove sanctions imposed on the country's leadership in 2002 for election rigging. Parajuli's new assignment is to head the World Food uh, Program in India. He had worked in Zimbabwe for five years as the country's UN resident coordinator. In a viral video on Zimbabwe and social media, Zambia opposition leader Shizmba Kambuli was said to have called President Edgar Lingo a dog, even though he did not mention the president by name. He, but he has been arrested on charges of defaming the president. What he allegedly said was the court. Some dogs from Shawarma did not get tired of traveling. Shawarma is a township in the capital, Lusaka, where Lungu previously lived and served as member of parliament. The president has recently been traveling abroad. His latest trip was to Tokyo, where Japan hosted more than 20 African leaders at the Tokyo International Conference for African Development TCAT Summit. Kawili says his comments were misunderstood. Two days before his arrest, the state registrar of societies had deregistered his NDC party. The registrar says the party's constitution is flawed. If convicted, Kawili could spend three years in prison. We'll return after this message. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. A Chinese medicine container has been confiscated in Namibia for alleged poor quality and lack of import documentation. The consignment was impounded at the port of Wallis Bay. The Namibia, Namibia Medicines Regulatory Council, NM, NMRC, has rejected the product, saying nine of the samples failed the laboratory tests conducted at the council's request. Anti-Corruption Commission Director General Paulus Noah says the commission will conduct its own probe and make a declaration on the matter. Government sources say the Anti-Corruption Commission considers the contents of the container proceeds of crime because of the manner in which the tender for them was awarded. That is the NN News Brief. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeni.